and welcome to the Big Review Ski with Chicago Town Pizza. My name's Owen and there's Rory and me and Rory were chatting and we decided because we love you so much, we wanted to get you an early Christmas present. And you don't have to get us anything in return, but that would be good manners and just a really nice thing to do. Now, I know we give you the gift of free pizza anyway, and don't worry, we still have free pizza. All you have to do, as usual, is head over to the Big Review Ski Twitter account and you can get your hands on those tasty Chicago Town pizza goodies. But Rory, we also have another present for everybody. It's the gift of amazing movie recommendations. But what are we focusing on today? Yeah, so today, first of all, I didn't agree to this them not giving us presents thing. That's you. If they, if they want to give presents, no, let me rephrase. Give me presents. Give them to me, now. Secondly, our present, other than free pizza, is the 10 best movies of 2021. Now we know the year is not quite over yet, so there are still some releases. There is a chance The Matrix Resurrections could end up being the best movie of the year. There's, there's Spider-Man, No Way Home. There's, there's more to come before uh, December 31st. So yeah, so these are the 10 best movies of 2021, starting with. Shh. You're speaking way too loud. Pick number one is A Quiet Place Part Two. It's both sort of a sequel and a prequel to the amazing first film John Krasinski put out in 2018. You've got Emily Blunt is back with her kids and her trusty shotgun. And this time she's teaming up with Killian Murphy and his big gorgeous blue eyes and his big gorgeous cheekbones as well to take on those horrible monsters. So just remember, just keep it down. Okay, Roy, your turn. Next one is Palm Springs, a ingenious comedy starring Andy Samberg and Krista Milotti. Uh, I think the idea of reliving the same day over and 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 over again during the pandemic might have struck people just the right way or the wrong way. Uh, but this one is very funny, very heartfelt, very clever, and features a scene stealing J.K. Simmons. And who doesn't love a scene stealing J.K. Simmons? Without a doubt, one of the funniest films of the last decade, maybe. From the movie Masterminds, who brought us Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, 21 Jump Street, and the Lego movie comes The Mitchells versus The Machines. This isn't just one of the funniest films of the past year. It's just an incredibly hilarious animation about a family who have to kind of rediscover why they love each other as they team up against an alien robotic invasion uh they really know how to put the fun into dysfunctional family it's a wild and wonderful non-stop adventure watch it it's on netflix you will love it and now for something completely different the incredibly dark oscar winning promising young woman is from writer director emerald fennel stars carrie mulligan as a woman on a rampage of revenge for reasons that you won't really get into until closer to the end of the movie. It's a bit of a mystery, but it does deal with uh, misogyny and the sexual politics in the modern world. It's also very, very funny, but in a way that will have you laughing while you're cringing into a pillow because, oh my God, help me, everyone in this film is too real. Anna features Bo Burnham, the internet's boyfriend right now. It's not a feel-good film, but it is a fantastic film. So what if you get, if you take one of the most ridiculously gorgeous casts in the entire world, one of the most exciting directors working today and a hefty dose of Hollywood sci-fi spice. It is, of course, Dune, the epic cinematic masterpiece. Now, if you are interested in seeing Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya make googly eyes in slow motion at each other for a long time, then this is the film for you. But this is an incredible adaptation of Frank Herbert's iconic sci-fi book. And the good news is this is only part one, so we already have part two to look forward to as well. The next one is maybe the one you will have heard the least about or is definitely the best hidden gem of the year. It's called Zola. Uh, there's nobody in it that I think you will have heard of before. The writer and director, I don't think you'll have heard of them before. But it is based on a series, believe it or not, of funny tweets from a stripper pole dancer lady telling the true story of a bonkers weekend in Florida with a stranger that she met. Uh, I, I don't, really don't want to give much more than that away. It is one of the most profoundly funny, constantly just entertaining, uh, 
ah, uh, I don't have the words for it. Like, it's just, it's so good. It's so good, and it's, it's one of those things I've been telling, grabbing people by the shoulders and going, Zola! Now, I know that doesn't uh, help or make any sense, but uh, that's my recommendation. Go see Zola. Yeah, you have to stop doing mm. that. Pick number seven is the Oscar-winning Danish film, Another Round. And yes, it was originally released in 2020, but we only got to see it in 2021 here in Ireland. It's our list, our rules, so it makes the list okay Mads Mikkelsen is magnificent as a man who along with some of his teaching colleagues decides to start drinking every single day as part of an experiment in order to see what sort of effect it has on both his personal and professional life basically this is the film adaptation of that famous Homer Simpson clip to alcohol the cause of and solution to all of life's problems the film is funny and joyful and sad and completely heartbreaking, all rolled into one. So if you've ever been out on an all night boozy bender, then it's all of those emotions, basically. So you relate to that. So it is one of the best films of 2021. Give it a shot. What would you get if you took John Wick, but replaced Keanu Reeves with the internet's uncle, Bob Odenkirk? That's that's nobody. That's that's the that's the whole plot of nobody. Imagine nice guy Bob Odenkirk is secretly a really kick-ass assassin person, and one day he just snaps because he's fed up with uh, with his stately kind of quiet, functional home life, and decides to take it out in the world. So it's Bob Odenkirk with a gun and kicking people in the face for ninety minutes. I mean, what what more do you? That's the poster. That should have been the name of the film. Bob Odenkirk pick, kicks people in the face for ninety minutes. That's much better. You've already mentioned the internet's boyfriend, Roy Bo Burnham, and the Netflix special that he put out in 2021 I I don't even really know where to begin with it because it is genuinely one of my favorite things that I've ever watched in my entire life not just the past year I don't know what you did during lockdown but he created this masterpiece while I was attempting to unsuccessfully learn how to cut my own hair at home um, so he fared slightly better this is just a perfect mix of comedy and music and you can get all deep and meaningful with it or you can just laugh at the really stupid funny jokes that are in it as well but um please 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 watch this on netflix uh bo burnham inside and if you do like it then happy days if you don't then we can't be friends anymore Fair. and last but not least but definitely most recent is King Richard, which is just released in Irish cinemas, I think mid-November. Uh, will Smith will definitely get an Oscar nomination for his role as Venus and Serena's dad. I imagine there'll be a lot of think pieces about this uh, the further into the Oscar season that we get. But he is fantastic in this. It's just a beautiful film filled with amazing uh, performances and just a real just uh, as biopics go it, it's it's tough to think of one that is done as entertainingly and uh, s just steady as she goes every everything about it is just exactly what it needs to be uh, and i can't recommend it enough an amazing selection of the top 10 movies of 2021 there i say amazing because obviously rory and yep. myself picked them they're obviously amazing um we know there's still a couple more to come out but we will be watching those in anticipation uh as well and chatting about those in the new year as well so all that remains is for us to say bye bye and thank you in advance for those presents that Rory is forcing mm. you to send us. Um, again, as usual, cash is also perfectly yeah. uh, acceptable. Feel free to send us that in the post. Much appreciated. Show me the money! Thank you to Chicago Town Pizza. Thank you to everybody behind the scenes. And Rory, thank you to you. And we will see you next time. Enjoy the movies. <laughs>